<laughs> oh, I feel like I just took a shower. <laughs> oh my gosh. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> yeah, I that deep. <laughs> Hello and welcome to Off-Road Recon. In this episode, you will see us in our final days in Colorado, and we head out to one of our favorite places in Colorado, Taylor Park. Hope you enjoy the video. Please hit the like button and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Okay, so we've been on this trail here for quite some time. Really pretty trail. There's some like uh, scenic stops. I think this is an old railroad. It turned it into a road now. Uh, there's a couple of water things where the train used to get water off the track, so it leads us to believe we're probably on the old railroad. Um, but, uh, but yeah, here's the railroad. So Whoa. let's check this out here and we'll get back to you. trail so far. Claire's got a big old headache. <laughs> stomach hurts. Uh, Brandy's winding. She just got in from videoing. It's pretty up here though. I like it. Yeah. It's all open like a big valley. And definitely the most technical trail we've been on yet. Getting some flex in. Felt it a minute ago. One tire came up. The back one started spinning. So just kind of creeping and crawling across this mountain. And I think we've got about six more miles of this. And then we'll be over to, uh, where are we going? St. Elmo. St. Elmo. Is that where this leads to? I don't know. Oh, okay. Yep. So, stay tuned here. If you're liking this video so far, please don't forget to hit the like button, comment, subscribe to our channel. And, you know, we'll see you soon. Mm -hmm. Roof of my mouth sticking to my... Yeah, that always would be kind of funny watching him try to eat that with his 
This is that switch back that looks pretty dangerous. This is freaking dangerous, man. Peter, you know. How much room do I got over there? So we made it to the top of Hancock Pass, not without much effort. As you can see in this last part when we came across these switchbacks, it really didn't look that bad, but we had to lock in our rear lockers to get up this. It's always a little more scary when you're on the edge of a cliff. And boy, it gets a little more hairy the way it starts. That starts out as a road and ends as a four-wheeler trail. Mm -hmm. And I guess we got dust all over everything underneath. Good boy, this sucker just squeaking away. But we're about 30 minutes from St. Elmo. We'll hang out there for a little while, and then we'll cross over by Mirror Lake and take the. Uh, what is that? Uh, tin Cup Pass. Tin Cup Pass. We've done that before in the side by sides. I'll show you here. But we have never done that in a Jeep. And the guy just came across there and said, Boy, oh, you guys are brave to do it in a Jeep. He said it's not going to faint apart. So, so anyway, stay tuned here. If you guys are watching this video, we made it okay. So don't worry. Drop us a <laughs> comment below if you're worried. Welcome to St. Elmo. In the 1880s, this was a boom town for the mining industry. Now, most of its income comes from tourism and travelers passing through. And the chipmunks. Pretty you might go and believe this. Huh? I'm so correct. After walking through St. Elmo and exploring some of the restored buildings, we had to stop in and see the chipmunks. This is one of Clara's favorite parts. She could have been happy here for hours. Alright, so we left out of St. Elmo on the other side of town. Going up towards Tin Cup Pass, right? Yep, that's where we're going. So it's a pretty rough road up here, but this is a fun drive. Hope you guys enjoyed getting a little <laughs> first hand look at uh, <laughs> St. Elmo. If you haven't done it already, hit the thumbs down button and subscribe to our channel. Or the thumbs up button. I don't think it really matters at this point. Really, the most important thing is that you subscribe, turn all the notifications on. And you drop a comment on every single one of our videos. I think that's really what helps us the most. So, thanks for doing that in advance. Get out of the way. <laughs> what the hell? Get around him. <laughs> Shut the hell up. 
<laughs> now I can run it faster. This guy can drive. <laughs> <laughs> Connor and Claire are wanting to touch a cloud. Here they come. Okay, so we're coming back down the other side of Tin Cup Pass, getting ready to come into a little town of Tin Cup, which is right down the road from Taylor Reservoir. And uh, it's been an awesome day. I had a lot of fun. And we were talking about being worried about that trail down from uh, St. Elmo. That was nothing. But yeah, it was easier than the other side for sure. These log walls. Nothing compared to the mountain passes over on Silverton and around URA and stuff yeah. like that. County Road, and this will be our last day wheeling in Colorado. We'll hope to make the most out of it. Hopefully, we have a good, easy going day. Who knows? Maybe we'll do steak and chicken for dinner. Whoa. Okay, Brandy doesn't know this, but we're gonna try to get her wet. She's down here getting a shot right now. Good. I'm glad that I'll get a towel at 8 o'clock tonight. Dust on the lens now, that's it. Why isn't it closed? It didn't close the lens. You were in our camera. Yeah. You can't close the lens. Uh oh. Week. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Wait, Claire, you can put that back behind you if you want to get clean. I may have just lost a $1,500 camera. Shh. <laughs> uh, we filming? All right, guys, so we've been wondering just how good this e-brake could possibly work. So it feels kind of loose, might need to be tightened up. And since our brakes have been giving us a little issue, so we thought we'd give it a try. Emergency averted. <laughs> we're still Slowly. not stopped. <laughs> Slowly. E-brake, e-brake, e-brake. Okay. Without. With. Without. Might want to get that tightened up. Check your e-brakes before you go to the mountains, folks. We did. Now, I'll we were at the top of the mountain when we checked it, but apples and oranges. Oranges and oranges. Something like that. Banana, banana. Tomato, tomato, something like that, right?
wheel bearing of mine's getting pretty bad. You turn around. I don't know, does this go through or do we have to turn around anyway? It goes through, but it goes clear up into the mountain. I think it's definitely that wheel bearing. It's <sighs> nice. Yeah, we're not going to see it for a while. <laughs> Good thing the tires are chalked. After all you worry warts out there. I can't really tell. It may be a U joint. That you doing right there, maybe popping? This one of the best trails. Oh, it's a good one. You should go on up there and then see if you feel the same way. About Bounce the hell out of it. Oh my God! I figured that's why he asked me twice if we wanted to turn around. Oh, Connor's yeah. like, sounds like he wants to turn around. Connor, <laughs> could you tell? Yeah. Yeah, you want to turn around? Yeah, you want to turn around? Oh man, it is. It's going when I turn to the. In two wheel drive? In two wheel drive. So I'm wondering if maybe it's just. It's either this U joint or that wheel bearing. Did it sound like it was on that side to you? Oh yeah, it's on this side. Did you see that guy? It looked like Derek. I'll get back to you. You this little huh? Is it on? Yeah. Click the silver button. It's still on me. Alright. Close it. This? Another issue here. Water pump quick. Actually, the pressure switch on the water pump quick. So, now we're just, uh, Hardwiring it through with a paper clip to get us a shower tonight and get us through. So stay tuned, it's always fun. Alright, so we're out here and tonight we're gonna cook up some steak and some chicken. I don't even know what time it is. What time is it? Six o'clock PM, seven o'clock our time. And uh, this will probably be our last night out. So we figured we'd show you guys what we were cooking tonight. And since we've got a little bit of chicken left and a little bit of steak, we're gonna have both. Two meats. We're gonna do it Russian style like Andre. Show them what we're looking at, Con. So. Hey Dad, what? Can I have one piece of chicken and one piece of steak? Yeah, we're gonna cut them into pieces. So it's been an awesome week. We've had a lot of problems, but we've been able to overcome them all. And uh, we'll pack up first thing in the morning and get out of here. Boy, that looks good. Okay. You? This piece? Yeah. Okay. Thank you. That's how that feeling that you're having.